All right, guys, today we're gonna to be talking about how rare are knives? And what I mean by this is, this is kind of an idea that I got. Uh, just, I watch a lot of YouTube videos on knife content and just in general, like knives. And oftentimes you see a lot of things like Benchmade bug outs, Benchmade griptilians, maybe lots of hodecas. And you see definitely a lot of particular knives, like certain knives out there that are very popular. I also feel you see a lot of Benchmade Adamases. Just as a whole, a lot of Benchmade knives are very prevalent and very prominent. But I feel like with a lot of YouTube channels, when they show things like, you know, a Hinderer XM18 3.5 inch, or even something like a CRK uh, in Kosi, or maybe something a little bit more rare, like a uh, Paragon phoenix or something like that like it's kind of hard to actually understand i think um just how rare some of these knives are and i think it's really neat because you know oftentimes you become kind of conditioned on youtube because you know oh you can watch a video and see a knife that doesn't necessarily mean that there's a lot of those knives in existence now don't get me wrong there are lots of things like spider co manixes paramilitary twos once again bench made bug outs there's tons like probably thousands of those knives circulating around but Knives like this um, Protec Strider SNG are actually fairly rare. Like there's not actually that many of them in circulation and not all rare knives are necessarily expensive. By and large, uh, these Protec Striders aren't terribly expensive and some are definitely a little bit more pricey, but it just is very interesting that uh, there are so many knives out there that you see every day or maybe you know frequently on certain knife tubers channels and you just never really uh, get to appreciate just how how rare some of these knives are actually out there. And I think one for me, the Rick Hinder XM18s that, you know, there's a lot of people that are very dedicated and loyal to collecting these knives, but because there are so many different varietals of them and, you know, different blade shapes and different uh, configurations overall, these guys are actually pretty rare because, you know, there's not that many, let's say, recurve CPM20 CV blades out there or, you know, just different uh, types of variations and color schemes that make that reasonably rare. Or another one, the CRK or Chris Reeve knives in Kosi, large in Kosi. These guys are pretty darn rare and I kind of learned that because when I was trying to get one, even though you may see them very frequently on YouTube, different knife tubers channels, these guys like actually trying to go out and find one is pretty darn challenging. And that definitely is a testament to how rare they are. So I think it's a very interesting paradigm to see many of these knives and and it makes me pretty happy that I can have some knives that are, you know, not super common, not super available, but still bring them out, bring them out and make content. And I think that's one of my personal, like one of my more favorite things about knife collecting is when you have a knife that really means a lot to you or is a really neat knife like this uh, Paragon Phoenix, you know, is this the most usable EDC knife? Is everyone going out to replace their, you know, bug outs with a Paragon Phoenix? Definitely not, you know, aluminum handled, pretty hefty gravity knife, you know, first off, this isn't even legal in most states, but secondly, you know, this isn't the most useful blade out there, but because my channel I can you know collect the things that interest me the most things like this phoenix bring it out and show you guys this blade because overall there's not really that many of these and while you can go to places like blade hq still at least right now and purchase one of these actually for pretty reasonable prices uh, all things considered you know overall like i said there's not many of these in circulation you can try to go find you know youtube videos on them there's not really a lot out there on them so overall, I think it's really cool to see this dynamic. And overall, I think the, the kind of core message of this video is that one of my favorite things is genuinely collecting knives that are just kind of rare, obscure, and you know, not common to bring you guys content on them, to tell you what I think about them. And part of that is also how, or kind of what I enjoy about knife collecting as a whole. I think that there are blades out there that are you know super hard to come by, super hard to get, and that makes the hunt for them much more rewarding and much more satisfying and one and the reason why i'm holding this is the protect strider smg as i've said in the dedicated video i did on this you know this knife cost me 160 bucks all things considered it's not that expensive but because they are 
so, I don't want to say cheap because they're not cheap, but because they are so inexpensive within reason, that also makes them pretty tricky to get a hold of because the people that want these knives really want these knives and it actually took me uh, a year. But yeah, so without digging too much into the backstory of this guy, you know, it actually took me like a year of genuinely trying and I actually have wanted an auto strider for quite some time. And even last year, I had actually managed to purchase one, so to speak, but the uh, guy ended up falling through and couldn't send the knife out. So he refunded me my money and I had to start the search all over again for one of these blades. So once again, kind of was reminded that, you know, there's a lot of knives out there in the, uh, in the jungle or in the in the circulations that are not particularly that common. So I don't know, I feel like you see a lot of knives, including with myself being that I'm a content creator, like you see in Kosi's, Phoenix's, Auto Striders, Striders in general um, on the channel. And it's like, these things are actually pretty darn tough to find when you actually want to go out and find one. And even like just going and looking for an XM18 right now, go into just about any of the, you know, big knife retailers, you probably won't won't even find a Hinder XM18 for sale, like a three and a half inch Hinder XM18 for sale. Whereas you might find something like a Manix or you probably will find, or you probably would find something like a Manix that you could like buy today and have it shipped to your house, right? But something like this Hinder XM18, you probably could not find one just ready to go. Like I said, it was tricky to find this uh, in Kosi ready to go. I had to buy it from a secret source, so. So anyways, guys, thought it'd be a fun video to kind of talk about, like, honestly, these knives, I think we kind of take it for granted because we see so many knife tubers, you know, playing with different knives. It's like, oh yeah, that, that knife, I could go out and buy one. It's actually, maybe you couldn't. A lot of these knives are pretty rare. So I thought it was a neat idea. Thought it was an interesting video to kind of talk about. I don't know why you guys in particular or what some of your favorite aspects to collecting knives are, or even if you collect knives but definitely collecting rare knives is one of my more favorited uh, activities in the uh, in collecting as a whole. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed it. And as per always, I will try to keep my knife collection interesting, unique, fascinating with things like customs and just weird knives that honestly suit my taste very well. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.